right here in South Sioux City. Let's take you there. Check out this video. Pam Miller is the vice president of Siouxland Freedom Park, and she says the project is about four years in the making. At least three Korean War veterans were on hand for today's ribbon cutting. Miller says there was a big push to get the monument finished before it was too late as many veterans of our that era have, but we intend to honor many and all veterans as well. And having this one, I think, helps to display that. And we want to make sure this is in place before our Korean War veterans aren't with us. The memorial is meant to mimic the one in Washington, D.C., and sits right next to the Vietnam War Memorial, also inside Freedom Park. It's very, um, it's a surreal feeling when you see it at night. And uh, the features on the faces and the detail really just come right out to you. Um, you can feel the struggle. The memorial will also light up at night and it will be finished next spring with grass and trees meant to create an atmosphere similar to the climate on the Korean Peninsula. From Siouxland's News Channel.